Guinea Ecuatorial, por su ubicación geográfica, es, una, es un país realmente afortunado. Tiene una biodiversidad fantástica, única en el mundo. Development, a lot of species uh, populations decline due to uh, habitat loss and pressure from hunting and poaching. By being here, we're providing a protected area. Y desde ese punto de vista, nosotros como país, como empresa, estamos encantados de poder contribuir a la protección de esa biodiversidad a través del programa del BBPP. The project supports teams of researchers and educationalists who seek to demonstrate the value of protecting the dwindling populations of turtles, monkeys, and their habitats. Es un proyecto que está en asociación con la Universidad de Guinea Ecuatorial y la Universidad de Drexler de Estados Unidos y aporta un componente educativo de investigación tanto a estudiantes de Guinea Ecuatorial como a estudiantes de la Universidad de Drexel. These beaches are very important for the endangered sea turtles that come up and nest here. There's very few coastal habitats left that haven't been developed. Our research program entails us walking the beach at night, which is when the turtles come up and nest. This is a false crawl from a leatherback. It's the tracks created by the turtle as it comes out of the water onto the beach. We'll tag the turtles to assess if that turtle has returned or if it's new. What we just saw was a green turtle emerge, body pit, and then leave to go back into the ocean. We work at night with the turtles, and short answer as to why we use the red light is they can't see red light. We use the white light, they get scared. What we saw here was an olive ridley sea turtle. Uh, she came up to nest. We're not sure whether she actually laid eggs or not, but uh, it was a real treat because usually they lay in the darkness of night. We knew it was an olive ridley by looking at the track alone. They have the sort of one flipper, then the other flipper, sort of like an army crawl. They are definitely the smallest. I think some of the prettiest to look at though. People from all over would love to come learn about these animals. One of the species we have here are the drill monkeys, and they are very endangered due to hunting and poaching. The teams not only deter hunting, they monitor the populations of many endangered species and run information campaigns to help change attitudes towards these valuable animals. So what we've got foraging in that big tree right there is a group of drills, which is the largest species of primate here on Bioko Island. And what they're foraging for are these fig fruits that grow on the bottom of these trees along the riverbank. And they wait until they get nice, red, and soft. These species have been around for thousands of years. Protecting these species, it could actually provide a sustainable income for years to come. Ecotourism could provide a lot of jobs for local communities. You know, the tourist industry in terms of hotels, uh, tour guides. These are ours to protect for future generations. 